Now for getting infinite bombs. You'll need a stake and a homing cart. And you'll need a Bokoblin Mask or Majora's Mask. You can get the Bokoblin Mask from Colton after you meet him and give him a bubble gem. You do this north of the Pico Pond by the Woodland Stable. And the Majora's Mask is in the depths at the Coliseum. If you haven't done this, I don't want to tell you what's here. You'll have to find out for yourself. There are two locations you can get infinite bombs, and they are here by the Gleok Bridge, which is north of the Coliseum, south of Mount Daphnis, or north of the Outskirts Stable. The second location is east of the huge chasm in Akala. You can't miss it. You'll find a battle talus and some bokoblins. Your first goal is to defeat the talus and all the bokoblins except one of the ones that are carrying bomb flowers in their basket. You also need to make sure that the bokoblin has at least one bomb flower in its basket so it's best to save before trying anything. I would first defeat the battle talus using arrows, and you can use dazzle fruit to stun the bokoblins if you need to. After the talus is defeated, you can save. Then reload, the bokoblins will respawn. Since you have one of the masks on, they will leave you alone until you attack them. Now because I'm taking bomb flowers, which you can take the fire fruit if you wanted to, defeat all the bokoblins besides one that carries bomb flowers. You can use dazzle fruit to keep them stunned, and then attack. After there's one left, use the Dazzle Fruit one more time to disarm it, and then save your game. After you reload, the Bokoblin will not have a bow, which is what you need. Now put the homing cart on the stake and put the stake in the ground. What we want is to turn on the homing cart and the Bokoblin will throw bombs at it. So it's important not to put the cart too close to the Bokoblin. Also, not too low or the Bokoblin will run and try to punch the cart instead. Also, the Bokoblin likes to play with some rocks, so I'd clear out those rocks if there are any close by. The Bokoblin will now be on a loop throwing bombs at the homing cart. We want to take the bombs from the Bokoblin's hands as it throws the bombs, not from the basket. You can only take 5 bombs from the basket, but you can take an infinite amount of bombs from the Bokoblin's hands. Inch your way close to the Bokoblin, crouching can help. And then you'll see a prompt to take the bombs. If the take prompt pops up when the Bokoblin has a bomb in its hand, this is correct. If the prompt comes up when the Bokoblin does not have the bomb in its hands, that's incorrect. You will take from the basket instead. You have to readjust the link. Once you're in position, all you need to do is keep pressing A, and then you'll collect as many bomb flowers as you want. If you have zero bomb flowers, it should take a little over 30 minutes to get 999. If you have a turbo controller, that's even better. You could leave it alone and then you'll collect non-stop. If you're doing the turbo controller method, there's a few things to note. The homing cart will disappear after 30 minutes, so check on it when you need to. This of course uses Zona energy, so you can use some Zona chargers if necessary or turn off and on the cart. It is possible to rain and thunderstorm, so take off any metal weapons and hope nothing gets hit with lightning. If a blood moon happens, everyone will come back to play, so pay attention. 